Once upon a time, in the tranquil valleys of the Himalayas, there lived a Zen master lama named Tenzin. Tenzin was renowned for his wisdom, compassion, and his ability to guide people towards enlightenment. One day, news spread across the villages that the Zen master had decided to impart a special teaching to the ordinary people of the region. It was said that he would reveal the secrets of thinking like a monk and attaining inner peace in the chaos of daily life. As the sun dipped below the towering peaks, casting a warm glow on the serene landscape, people from all walks of life gathered at the foot of the mountain where Tenzin resided. The air was filled with anticipation as they awaited the wisdom that the Zen master would share. Tenzin, dressed in flowing saffron robes, emerged from his humble abode. His eyes, deep pools of tranquility, surveyed the diverse crowd that had gathered. A hush fell over the assembly as Tenzin prepared to speak. My dear friends, he began, his voice carrying the weight of years of contemplation. I have invited you here today to share a teaching that has the power to transform the way you perceive and navigate the world. It is a teaching that will guide you on a path to think like a monk, to find peace amidst the turmoil of ordinary life. The crowd leaned in, captivated by the promise of a transformative journey. Tenzin gestured for them to sit in a circle around him, inviting them into a space of collective learning. Close your eyes and take a deep breath, Tenzin instructed. The crowd followed his lead, inhaling the crisp mountain air and exhaling the tension that clung to their minds. Let us begin, Tenzin continued, by understanding the nature of the mind. The mind is like a restless monkey, constantly jumping from one thought to another. It is in this restlessness that suffering is born. As he spoke, Tenzin painted vivid imagery with his words, transporting the listeners to the lush forests of their own minds, where the monkey of thoughts swung from branch to branch. To think like a monk is to be the observer of this monkey mind, Tenzin explained. Instead of being entangled in the chaos of thoughts, detach yourself and simply observe. Allow the thoughts to come and go, like clouds passing through the vast sky. The crowd listened intently, absorbing the essence of Tenzin's teaching. He went on to elucidate the power of mindfulness, the practice of being fully present in each moment. He guided them through meditation techniques, teaching them to anchor their awareness in the present and observe the fluctuations of the mind without getting entangled. As the moon rose above the towering peaks, casting a gentle glow on the gathering, Tenzin led the crowd through a series of mindfulness exercises. The air was filled with a serene stillness as the participants delved into the depths of their consciousness. Days turned into nights, and Tenzin continued his teachings. He spoke about compassion, the interconnectedness of all beings, and the importance of cultivating a heart that beats in harmony with the universe. The crowd, now more like a spiritual community, absorbed the teachings with an eagerness to transform their lives. One day, as the sun bathed the mountains in a warm golden hue, Tenzin gathered the group for a special lesson. To think like a monk, he began, is to recognize the impermanence of all things. Change is the only constant, and by embracing this truth, we free ourselves from attachment and suffering. Tenzin then shared a parable about a wise old oak tree that had weathered countless storms. Its branches swayed gracefully in the wind, and its roots ran deep into the earth. The tree, despite its strength, knew that each season brought change, the shedding of leaves, the blossoming of flowers, and the cycles of life and death. Like the oak tree, our lives are subject to change, Tenzin said. To think like a monk is to be rooted in the present moment, accepting the flow of life with equanimity. The teachings of Tenzin resonated deep within the hearts of the listeners. They began to approach life with newfound awareness, embracing challenges as opportunities for growth, and savoring each moment as it unfolded. In the weeks that followed, Tenzin guided the community through various aspects of monk-like thinking, simplicity, humility, and the cultivation of inner joy that transcends external circumstances. The village, once bustling with the noise of mundane concerns, now echoed with the whispers of inner peace. 
One day, a curious villager named Anaya approached Tenzin with a question that had lingered in her mind. Master Tenzin, she began, how do we apply these teachings in the complexities of our daily lives? How do we think like a monk when faced with the challenges of the world? Tenzin smiled kindly at Anaya's inquiry. The essence of monk-like thinking lies in integrating these principles into the fabric of your existence, he replied. Let me share a story to illustrate. He began the tale of a young merchant named Kavi, who, inspired by Tenzin's teachings, sought to embody monk-like thinking in his bustling life. Kavi, with a heart full of determination and a mind eager for transformation, embarked on a journey of applying the wisdom he had received. In the heart of the village, Kavi owned a small shop that bustled with activity. The market square, once a cacophony of commerce, gradually became a haven of mindful transactions. Kavi approached each customer with a genuine smile, treating each interaction as an opportunity to spread joy. He embraced simplicity by decluttering his shop, offering only what was essential. The shelves that were once overflowing with merchandise were now adorned with carefully curated items that spoke of quality and purpose. Kavi's newfound humility endeared him to the villagers. He no longer saw himself as merely a merchant, but as a steward of the community, contributing to the well-being of those he served. His success was measured not only in profits, but in the smiles of satisfied customers. In the face of challenges, Kavi embodied the resilience of the oak tree. When a storm of economic uncertainty swept through the village, Kavi stood firm, adapting to the changing winds without losing his rootedness. He weathered the storm with a calm demeanor, knowing that, like the seasons, difficulties were transient. As Tenzin narrated Kavi's story, the villagers saw reflections of their own lives in the tale. They began to realize that monk-like thinking was not an abstract concept confined to meditation sessions, but a practical philosophy that could be woven into the tapestry of their everyday existence. The teachings continued, touching upon the importance of compassion in interpersonal relationships. Tenzin encouraged the villagers to extend a hand of understanding and kindness, fostering a sense of unity within the community. The once fragmented relationships began to heal as the villagers embraced the transformative power of compassion. One day, a traveler passing through the village noticed the palpable change in the air. Intrigued, he inquired about the source of the newfound harmony. The villagers, now the torchbearers of Tenzin's teachings, welcomed the traveler with warmth and shared the wisdom they had gained. Word spread beyond the mountain villages, reaching neighboring communities and even distant towns. The transformative power of monk-like thinking became a beacon of hope in